Hello there in business tonight. Singapore went into deflation for the first time in 11 years in 2020. Core consumer prices in December fell to minus 0.3%, mostly from falling costs of services and food. Meantime, headline inflation, which includes accommodation and transport, stayed flat, coming in at 0%. That's as car prices rose with fewer COEs issued. Most items were also up on a month-on-month -month basis, which experts say is a sign of a recovering economy. Rising consumer confidence means prices decline less for clothing, footwear and personal care products. Costs of recreational and telco equipment also rose. With the vaccines, experts also believe externally oriented services will pick up. They expect modest inflation this year will boost business. Having inflation move up to positive territory is important because when we are in a deflationary environment, so for instance, your favorite book uh, costs $50 today, but maybe $49 next year and then $48 the next, people will want to defer their spending. So it really causes a, a negative spiral in terms of economic activity. Uh, in contrast, I think having some increases, moderate increases in uh, inflation actually does help to uh, boost economic activity. In